This is Tanara Kuranov, your friendly neighborhood gamer mouse, and today we're doing Metropolis. But first, mostly because I don't know where else to put it, behold, the holy answering machine. We're sorry, we're not home right now, we thank you for your call. We are such merry people, we love you one and all. Please leave your name and phone number, we'll call you back with luck. But if you should hang up too soon, go take a flying. Anyway, now for the main event. Metropolis by John Calhoun and Paul Finn. Uh, yeah, I kind of went through the title card of that slightly quickly because... By this point, we're half an hour into the footage and... In double-digit attempts because this isn't a huge house. But it's not exactly terribly forgiving either. Not that that makes it a bad house, and it's certainly by no means the hardest thing I've encountered, but... It's just that a lot of sections only give you so much room to mess things up before they can become impossible. But we'll get to that. It's another one of those houses with uh, pretty, pretty decent custom graphics as far as these things go. Like the vent earlier, that was like one big continuous vent, although that might have been a layered thing, but I also don't remember the vents being gray in the default editor either, so... This is some pretty standard basement stuff, though. Though well, that dart doesn't start coming in until you get far enough into this room, so, uh, there's that. You have to hit that thermometer to get through there. The pro tip with the spider webs, the rubber bands are much more effective at escaping them than the batteries are. I'm I don't know why, but it's a good thing to keep in mind. Because otherwise you might just waste your battery trying to get out of a spider web. So, like, the battery's finicky. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't to boost yourself out of a web. But I've never had the rubber bands fail. Yeah, you know, we got our parking garage in here, which is definitely not standard. <laughs> like, that's definitely different. <laughs> I've seen that car before. I always keep forgetting that this crowd of copters just comes in on this screen. So yeah, that's the first section. Have to do that to get over the uh, fishbowl, basically. Rubber band's not necessary on that, but oh well. Nine room mode, you can see the fishbowl up there. I don't like orange anymore. <laughs> yeah. Plenty of people that don't like orange. <laughs> it's very silly. <laughs> Yeah, that part you have to basically just immediately go through or you're probably going to get hit by the, uh, drops or hit the floor. Yeah, that's my strategy for that part that I didn't do in this run, is just go right through once you get into that room, because it takes a moment for the drips to happen. Here's another tricky segment, just because it's kind of a narrow... Oh, well, now I did it. I did it. The... I was going to say I did it the first time, but that's just on this run. I certainly died a fair bit to that part. Just not in this footage. And there is four stars to this house, because... I feel like I should mention that because we barely saw the title card. The custom title card for this, by the way. Like the 
health and John Calhoun stuff tends to have, so... And you can't get hit by the drops while you're on that grease. I don't know if that's just how it got positioned, or if the grease gives you some... Nah, I don't think the grease gives you its ability to wire droplets. Because you can still die to, like, other enemies and stuff, so I think that's just how it's positioned. Now, sometimes it's hard to tell with stuff like this, you know? <laughs> this game's kind enough to give you a few extra lives throughout this. And this! Although it might have been one of the switches I hit that turns that on, but... Not sure. But I do like this little detour. You're in a big old skyscraper in the middle of a big old city, and then suddenly... Little house in the country. <laughs> that is much more friendly. Nothing trying to kill you, it's just some nice... Nice juicy points and power-ups. And then you get teleported back to the big harsh city again. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Call the foil doesn't give you that many hits, but because I think the foil can be variable amounts, but I just remember when I the first time I got the foil doing this house, it didn't last for very long. Ooh. You gotta be careful there. You also have to turn off that, uh, that microwave oven, I'm pretty sure. Because there's a part you have to battery over later. Speaking of this place being kind of unforgiving sometimes... I think that just turns on and off the coffee maker. I don't know. Yeah, as far as I know, you have to battery over that part, so if you don't turn off that microwave oven... You're boned. <laughs> At least as far as I know. I could be wrong. But yeah, that's probably one of the less forgiving parts of this. If you don't think to hit that switch with that trick shot... Then you're doing the house over again. if you can go under the stools, but I'm not entirely sure how much that would help. Oh, I, I did like, I just boost over it and it works, so. This is my disclaimer with my uh, Let's Play videos, that there is definitely potentially other strategies for these things, and mine isn't necessarily the correct one, but... It's the one I used, and it's the one that seemed to work, so, uh... Oh. <laughs> uh, in one of my playthroughs, I managed to boost into that and grab the helium and then back away from the cabinet without dying. It was actually a really clean run of that segment. Unfortunately, that is not this time that I died, so... Maybe I'll put that at the end. <laughs> it's usually where I put the miscellaneous segments that aren't part of the, uh... the successful run of the house. I'm going to have another segment I put in there that's much less glamorous, but... I have to demonstrate another one of the unforgiving segments of this particular house. There's the third star. Now, dear heavens, whatever you do on this part, do not go left. We will demonstrate why at the end. A 
I mean, unless he wanted to try and get extra points and then go through the rest of the house. Uh, no. Actually, you have to pick up the items to get through certain rooms of the house, so I don't even think that would work. But yeah, that's Metropolis. It's a beautiful little, little house with custom graphics and whatnot. Thank you for visiting the Metropolis building, home of a thousand drips, darts, and ducks. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful little house, but... Got at least a couple of spots where if you don't do the right thing, you're starting the house over again. So, uh, fair warning on that, but other than that, it's not too bad. Though there is a reason why I typed Y in the last one, so... I will certainly demonstrate. Like I said, when you get to the roof, do not go left. But yeah, that's Metropolis. Fun little house. Another joint venture from John Galloon and Paul Finn. Fun as always on that one. This is Tadara Kurinov, signing off. Till next time.